What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another LSP for tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. Today guys I'm going to be showing you uh, by request how to change the light patterns on your police lights on your vehicles. Now this works for I would say 98% of ELS vehicles that I have used. Maybe there's only been like 2% of ELS vehicles uh, that I put in my game that you could not change the light patterns. Now this request is coming in from someone named Wes Craddock and uh, this was a re request that was requested from him uh, a while back and I do apologize it's taking me so long to get to this but here it is big shout out to Wes Craddock uh, for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and get right into this guys there's going to be a couple things you're going to need so pay attention okay. A couple of things that you are going to need to change your light, pattern, light patterns first and foremost you are going to need EOS and script hook V. Okay, if you do not have ELS and you do not have script hook V installed, pay attention to the top right corner of my screen. A long black box will pop up, taking you to the video on show you how to install ELS and how to install uh, script hook V. Also, you are also going to need an ELS car pack. You're going to have to have that. Again, if you do not have an ELS car pack, I will link one in the top right corner again, popping out with a long black box that will take you to one of my videos showing you how to install an ELS car pack. Uh, with that being said, you're also going to need Simple Trainer for this to work so you can spawn your vehicles in. If you want to use it that way, you can. You can also use it through your Rage Plugin Hook Console Key. However, Simple Trainer is much easier. If you want Simple Trainer installed in your game and you're going to have to have it, look in the top right corner again. I will drop a tutorial on how to install script, uh, the Simple Trainer as well. Now, with that out of the way, once you go watch those videos, watch them all the way through so you know how to operate ELS, how to put your cars in and all that good stuff, and how to operate your Simple Trainer. Once you get that done, come back, guys, and this is what you're going to do. Once you get into your vehicle that is ELS, you're going to hit right control P, P as in Paul, right control P on the keyboard. It's going to take you to the pause menu. You're going to hit backspace to go out. You're going to see that black box pop up on the top, okay? Now, if we hit, um, if we turn our lights on like this by hitting the J on our keyboard, you're going to see our lights light up. Now, you can change each stage of lighting. You have three stages of lights per ELS car, okay? Most cars have three stages of lights. If we go to our traffic advisory by hitting the J once on our keyboard, it's going to bring up our traffic advisory. Now, if you'll look down there in the right in the right bottom corner, <coughs> you will see that one of my boxes is lit up right to this as SEC. That is for our traffic advisory. Now, if you look below that, you'll see a little thing that says E dash and then some numbers. E dash and then some numbers. Now, if I start hitting the I on my keyboard, I is an Ida, you're going to see that number change and you're also going to notice the traffic advisory changes as well, okay? So we keep pushing that, you're going to see the numbers change and the traffic advisory is also going to change. See that guys, how it's changing patterns? Alright, now, once you get this set, and there's a lot of different patterns guys, you can go through to change it to whatever you want. We're going to go to stage 2 lighting guys by hitting the J on the keyboard again, we're going to stage 2 lighting. Now, while you're in stage 2 with this particular car only that I've noticed, you can still change the traffic advisory by hitting the I on the keyboard, see that? Now, to change your stage 2 lighting, not your traffic advisory, but your stage 2 lighting, you're going to hit the U, U as in um, U as an umbrella, okay, so U as in union, you're going to hit that, it's going to start changing those lights there on the side, alright, see that red and blue light on, the, on top of my car, yours, yours is probably going to be different, you're going to have probably a Columbus PD pack, which is what I'll link in the top right corner, and if you keep hitting that U, it's going to change those lights on the light bar there, see that, how it's changing them, and again, this is on the second box and a little bit says PRM uh, E dash and then some numbers. So mine is on E dash 042. It's changing those numbers up right now and it's also changing the patterns. Now notice your traffic advisory is staying the same, okay? So I can change it if I want like this, my traffic advisory by hitting the I. Just like that. All right. If I hit that U, it's only going to change that stage 2 lighting, okay? Now, some cars might be different, okay? So, just kind of mess with it a little bit. Now, if we hit J again, it's going to go to stage 3 lighting, okay? This is going to be our main stage of lighting, which means we can run Code 3 Siren, right? We can run Code 3 Siren. So, if, again, if you want to change your stage 3 lighting, so just keep in mind, guys, stage 1 lighting, your traffic advisory, the way you change that is I, the I key on your keyboard, I is an Ida. Stage 2 is going to be U is in Union. Hit the U key to change that one. And then hit J for Stage 3 to change this one is also going to be U is in Union. So if I start hitting that, again, another box on there is lit up that says WRN, E dash, and then some numbers, okay? So if you hit that, it's going to start changing those patterns. You can see right there, it started to change them. And you can go through all these lighting patterns, guys, and pick the one you want. Um, 
it, it just depends on on what you like now see but me personally i like a pattern that's fast and something that's steady like that right there like for me that would be good for me but i'm gonna go ahead and go on through these by hitting the u key guys uh, just keep in mind, you have to have that EOS box up right there that we activated uh, by hitting right control P. That has to be activated before you can change your lighting patterns, okay? Without that box up, you will not be able to change your light patterns, all right? So there's your uh, main stage of the lighting, guys. And now, if we shut up our lights off, just say that's the stage I want right there. I've got everything set the way I want. I'm going to shut my lights off by hitting J. Now, if I hit the J once, it's going to turn that traffic advisory, and it's set just the way that we had it, just like there. If we hit it two, uh, hit stage two, it's gonna go to that one. That's the way we set that one. And then J again is stage three. It's gonna set it the way that one was set. So guys, you can change these up as much as you want. You can tinker with them. Also, another trick with ELS you can do is if you hold down on your left alt key, and if you'll look at my headlights right here, hold down on your left alt key and start pushing the numbers one through six, I'm sorry, one through five, one through five on top of your keyboard. If you just start pushing those, until it gets to the number 30 by holding down your left alt. Hold down your left alt key and hit those numbers on top of your keyboard, one through five. All right, now I'm gonna go to my two and do the same thing. And it goes all the way to 30, it's as high as it goes. There we go. Now I'm on number three. Take that up to 30. And you guys can kind of see those, uh, depending on what car pack you have, uh, the Coronas will differ. Uh, I'm sorry, the Coronas will vary is what I meant to say. They'll be, they'll be different and they will vary. Now I'm on number five. Now you can't go any higher than five. You can try, but trust me, you can't go any higher than five. As you can see, the headlights and the Coronas and the, and the headlights are really popping um, good. And like I said, again, depending on what car you have for ELS, uh, your Coronas will pop differently and maybe even better. Now this works, again, this works with most ELS vehicles. There's only been like 2% of ELS vehicles that I have put in my game that have not, that where I've not been able to change the light patterns. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys and girls. With that said, uh, subscribe if you're new, smash that like button for me, click that bell, and click all so you never miss any future content or live streams. Until next time, guys and girls, God bless, take care, stay in prayer, love one another, and peace out. We'll see you all in the next video.